YouTube. Welcome to Geek. Shh. All right, y'all. So we're getting back to the essence of this channel. I started this channel basically opening up graphic cards to repaste and rethermal pad them. And that's basically what we're going to be doing right now. Now, this is the Radeon 7. This is actually my favorite graphic card of all time. The reason why this is relevant to this channel is because this is a great option for the Hackintosh till this day. Now, at one point in time, it was the king of the Hackintosh. Obviously, it was dethroned by Big Navi, but it's still a great, viable, economically viable option. You would get this anywhere between 150 to about $300. Personally, I wouldn't pay more than 250 for it. And it really gives you the most bang for your buck when you're dealing with a Hackintosh. Now, what I'm really doing on on this video is applying an EK water block to it. Now, you can't really find an EK water block anywhere, so I'm not really going to be promoting that part. This is still going to be a great repaste video. If you want to find one of these EK water blocks, you got to get it drop shipped from one of those third world countries and they'll send it over to you. I was able to snag one up from one of those countries not a third world country, but like it was like Sweden or something. And the owner of the business sent it out to me, but you can't find this no more. This is EOL. So the tools that we need to get this project done, we're going to need one of those uh, I fix it toolkits and we're going to need some isoprof alcohol to get this job done. And the links will be in the description. So let's get straight to it. All right. So we're going to be using the T8H, because these are not regular screws back here, to remove the back plate. All right, so now we just gotta unscrew these screws right here. So let's see which one of those. So this is going to be J J the JIS one. All right, so this is going to be the JIS one for this particular one. Okay, so now we just gotta take out these four screws right here. Yep, that'll work. So this will be the JIS zero. JIS zero is what we're gonna use for this bracket right here. I like to do a cross pattern. So yeah, like I said, you know, the Raygun 7 is still a great card for the Hackintosh. You know what I mean? Still gives you great performance. It just can't really mess with Big Navi, but if you get if you get a great deal on it, $150, $200, why not? People selling it on eBay all the time. Especially with the miners. Kinda people are not mining like that no more. At the moment, we'll at least push that off to the side somewhere. All right, so now here, let's see. Clean off my little, my little desktop. And I believe you gotta take off, hold on, yeah. So All right, let me jump in here real quick. I didn't realize till after that you do not have to unscrew the four screws at the top. You only have to unscrew the two at the side. So let's jump into the unscrewing of the two screws at the side portion of the video. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you gotta take these two screws on the side off as well. All right, these are attached to the heat sink. All right, so that should be it. First, let me Hold on a second before we even move forward. Let me put these screws somewhere safe. We definitely don't want to lose 
anything. We do not want to lose anything at all. All right, so now you should be able to just lightly open up the card. Okay. All right, so we have, we have a little connection right here. It's connected right here, so please watch out for that. And then we have another connection right here. So we wanna see if we can slide this up. See with our fingers, if we can just, see if we can slide this up first. little minor connection here. Hey yo Darko, you going brave. The connection on this one just slipped out just now. That just slipped out. So we just got to try to open this one. Okay, all right, I was able to get that. Cool, so there you go. Got the Radeon 7. So that's how you open the card, and if you wanna repaste it, you just gotta clean, clean this up real quick. Hold on, I can clean mine up. For you now if this is the first time you open a card you'll you should have a graphite there it wouldn't be paste it will be the graphite and then you just have to use like a credit card or something plastic to really peel it off with some um isoprof alcohol and just scratch that graphite off and then you can just paste it so but being that i opened mine before i already put paste on it so let me clean this off. Hold on a second. Let me get something to clean this off. A little bit of alcohol. I'll be right back. All right, so I got my little shop towel and a little isoprof alcohol. Just gonna spray it on here real quick. All right, spray it on here real quick and then just gonna clean off. All right. All right. So obviously if you wanna put it back together, then all you will have to do at this point is put a little thin layer of paste, you know what I mean? Or you could be the thermal king like me. You could go for the crown. Put a lot like I usually do. Put it on there. Uh, then you're gonna wanna connect this one to this and then this one to this put it back together and then put the screw and then put it back together i don't know if that came up on camera but you're gonna want to put this one to this one and then connect this connector to this connector and then put it back together and then screw in everything and you'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and install a EK water block real quick. So I'm gonna be doing something a little different. All right, so.
so that's the repaste portion of the video for the rest of the video i'm going to be installing an ekwb water block i'm really going to speed through it because i know a lot of people just can't get their hands on this um like i said this is eol from ekwb you can't find it in the united states if you do find it it might be on uh ebay once in a blue moon someone might pop up and put one up for sale but overall you're not really going to find these if you really want to run one of these down, you're going to have to use AliExpress in one of those third world countries and then find someone to drop ship it to you. And that means that someone, let's say we're talking about India, someone will go on AliExpress in India, buy it, have it sent to them, and then they'll take it and ship it out to you in the United States. That's called drop shipping. If you want one of these, I was able to get lucky. I found one of these from a water cooling company out there in, I believe it was Finland, reached out to the owner and yeah, he sent it out to me and he didn't have any more after this one, this particular one, he didn't have any more. So it's hard to get your hands on these. So I'm not really, I'm just going to speed through this portion. Now the Radeon seven is still an amazing option for the Hackintosh. For the PC, I wouldn't really fool with it, but for the Hackintosh on Mac OS, this is still an amazing option for you to get. Now, if we look at Cinebench 2024, obviously Big Navi, the 6800 XT comes in at 8,879,000 points, but the Radeon 7 comes in at 4,939. That's still a monster of a card. And when you take into consideration that you can get this really cheap, someone did recently this weekend was selling them on eBay for $167 a piece. That's dirt cheap for 16 gigabytes of RAM on a GPU. Man, you can't really, you can't go wrong with that, man. So like I said, this is definitely something I will look into. I'm, I'm using it on my Hackintosh currently. I'm editing with it and it does the job it get it's a beast of a card still to this very day now the only problem with the radeon 7 is sometimes you'll run into a little bit of issues if you're trying to do a three or four monitor setup you're going to run into issues it's not going to handle right but if you try to do a dual setup it can handle that with no problem now the problem the ultimate problem with a hackintosh when you're dealing with the radeon 7 is if you dual boot into windows as a gaming graphic card it's just good enough if you're playing a first person shooter a fast-paced game like apex legends i'm sorry this is just not going to cut it particularly if you get into those ranked games but if you're doing one of those uh role-playing games this is good enough so that's all for uh this particular video i just wanted to go ahead and get back to the essence of this channel and I was just installing the Radeon 7 water block. So I said, let me just go ahead and do a video, do a little throwback type video, you know? Anyway, my next video will be another Plex transcoding video. It will be the transcoding on Apple Silicon, the base model Mac mini or the base model MacBook Pro. And I think you're gonna be very surprised at the outcome of that. So please stay tuned. I'm dropping that next Monday. 9 a.m. So please stay tuned for that because it's going to be a very good one if you're interested in Plex transcoded videos. It's really going to change the way you view uh, what you what system you would get to transcode Plex. Anyway, this is DeMarco Payne for Geeks. And last but not least, may the good news be yours.